Sometimes you need more than just uh, your root user for MariaDB. And so we can do this fairly easily. Um, first, we're going to have our server. We need MySQL minus P to connect to the server. And the password is Aloha123. And you can add users. So we created the inventory database earlier. So if I use inventory, you can see is in the inventory, show the tables. And I can see there's this machines table. If I want to allow someone to access it, I can do grant. And this will actually create the user if their user doesn't exist and grant them access at the same time. So you grant all on um, inventory inventory dot star to Alice at local host identified by Alice one two three. So this user password pair now we created. So our password is Alice one two three. Um, I could also grant an additional user, grant all, I'm going to just do select, select on inventory dot star to Bob at local host identified by Bob123. And then I could also grant, grant all, maybe all on inventory dot star to Eve at maybe a different machine at client dot example dot com identify by Now, normally you would create um, a user on a separate machine if you were creating some kind of a script or something to be run that would need to use this database. It's not a very common thing and you would not want to do it, usually because then you have to open up the firewall and make things less secure and you don't want to do that. All right, so all these users have been created. So you Alice, Bob, and Eve. So we exit out. We need to make sure the firewall allows access. So we do firewall cmd add service equals mysql. So the service name is mysql, um, even though the server is my MariaDB. And I might want to make it permanent for external access. If you don't want people to hack your server, I would not make it public public available. The server is already listening on all interfaces and you can see that because it, it runs on port 3306 and you get a net stat. Minus to net rep 3306 and you can see that it is listening on all interfaces and you can see that with a 0 .0 .0 .0. All right, So now it's listening on all interfaces. It can be accessed from all kinds of places. And so now you have a vulnerable server. Now we're going to check to see what happens when Alice logs in. So if you log in, MySQL minus U, Alice minus P. And then she can have her password of Alice123. And she gets in. She can then use uh, inventory. And she can show tables and see the tables. She can also do a select star from machines and, and it works great. She could even do updates and inserts and deletes. So if she wanted to do something, she could do that. Let's just trust that it works. Now I'm gonna try going in as Bob. Bob goes in, cross her password, and it's Bob. One, two, three. Use inventory. Now Bob's in there. Bob can also see the tables. 
select star from machines, we can see machines. However, Bob was only given select access, so he should not be able to delete anything from that. So he does delete from machines. It says delete command denied to user Bob it look was. So Bob was not given the delete option. Alice was given the all option, and Bob was just given the select option. And then you have Eve, who has all access from a different machine, which you then probably write some kind of script to connect over. And that's it for creating users.